Welcome back to first edition at 615 on the clock in our studios. KDT is gearing up for their annual classic brew tomorrow and you are invited. Of course, please welcome Todd Dunlop. He's the president and general manager of our local PBS joining us. It's always a pleasure having you and such a friend of first edition and we love PBS uh, here on the show as well. Uh, this is a, always a big fundraiser, one of two major fundraisers. Yep. You have the wine and now the beer because mm -hmm. you got to have the balance. Uh, what makes this year so great? It's casual. I saw flip flops. It's our casual event of the year. Mm -hmm. Flip flops, shorts and You'll be just totally welcome. Too. So, uh, 150 you know. different beers. Uh, yeah, it's that? crazy, and we've got uh, about 20 different restaurants bringing some really high-quality food, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody walks away with a commemorative cup. Okay, but it's a fundraiser for this station uh, here too. We've, uh, we got a, we got a uh, cruise control, a live band. Okay, and these guys are awesome. Too. Okay, okay. Heard them. it's yeah. quite a it's quite an event. I mean, my wife and I we love it. If you are new to town, this is the one to check out. Uh, if you could, the money that's raised. This is what's great about it is it goes back into the programming and the wonderful programming you bring in uh, to the Coastal Bend. Yeah, we, we spend about six hundred thousand dollars a year buying programs from uh, PBS and. I bet. I guess 13 other distributors and mm -hmm. producers. So Educational, something for the yeah. adults, for the parents, mm -hmm. for the kids. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's we have uh, 9,400 teachers in South Texas using our educational services. We have a special service just for schools, mm -hmm. and uh, so the money helps us support that also. And radio as well? Yeah, public radio is really on a roll right now. You know, uh, we're really enhancing our news services over there. Uh, that. Uh, uh, Senator candidate all, already coming in pretty soon. Okay. Dan Cruz. So okay. Going to do a uh, mayoral debate mm -hmm. here pretty soon. One of my favorite things is you also have the challenge, which pit, pits the various high schools here in the Coastal Bend against each other with some questions. And Don's favorite thing when he comes on the show is to give me a couple of those questions to see just how smart uh, I am. If you could, let's let's do it. Let's yeah, do just this. see if you would qualify for any of those teams. Okay, yeah. let's uh, see if yeah. uh, Flower Bluff, because I know they've done well, and, and GP and yeah. the other schools. Okay, what do we have? First yeah, question. Yeah, so we're season 20. Okay. It's just getting ready to kick off. We've given out $560,000 in scholarships. scholarships. So here's the couple of questions. Let's see how you do here, John Thomas. How many states became a state after Texas? After Texas? Ooh, uh, 23? 22. Okay. Pretty, yeah, okay. Okay. Pretty okay. good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you should know this. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> what was the first TV station in Corpus Christi? The first TV station in Corpus Christi. Was it an ABC? No. Fox. It was PBS. Come on. No. I don't know that. It was KVDO, which no longer is, is on uh, Channel 22. Okay. Back in yeah. the 60s? Or? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, here's something you might know. Every state has an official bird, yes. right? Uh, ours is a mockingbird. Yes. Several states uh, share the same bird. Which state, which bird is shared the most among any of the states? Which one is a state bird? Is it a Flamingo? It's a mockingbird. It's a, it is a mockingbird. Five states have a mockingbird. So we're not, we're not alone in this no, adventure. No, we're not alone. One more question. Let's do one more question. Okay. Uh, let's see. What year did Texas declare independence from Mexico? 1875? 1836. 1836, about yeah. 20 plus years off. There you go. Don, always a pleasure. These yeah. kids, they're so smart, so props. It, I mean, my amazing. wife and I, I tell you every time, my wife and I sit there and we watch the challenge and we're like, we need to go back to school. <laughs> this is great. Best of luck. We're going to have all the information on the Brew Classic on our website at KIIIT TV, uh, Classic Brew, uh, KIIITV.com. We're going to send it over to Carly right now. Carly.